But what I've learned is there's always a hidden gem to be found on every cruise ship. I found out you can get free airport lounge access. So something that we did is we got TSA pre-check. That's not the tip, because everyone knows TSA pre-check is faster than the regular TSA line. But the tip is, that way, if you leave your phone behind somewhere, you'll be much more likely to get that device back. Hey everyone, and welcome to my cruise hacks, tips, and tricks of 2024. I am so excited for this list. Now, if you are a new cruiser or an experienced cruiser or an obsessed cruiser like I am, uh, these tips are going to be good for everyone because I guarantee I have several that you've never heard before. And honestly, being an obsessed cruiser, this is what I live for. I live to find better ways to get good pricing, uh, ways to be more efficient, anything that can help the cruising experience. And I have found myself constantly on cruising Facebook groups answering questions. What better way than to build a comprehensive video of all these things included for you today for 2024? <laughs> few different categories. So we're going to do pre-cruise, packing, essentials, cabin, beach and pool, and onboard tips. Number one, pre-cruise plans. Transportation is a huge one. I find that everyone's trying to figure out the most economical way to get from the airport to the port. Usually you're coming in a day early, so you're going from a hotel and you need to get to the cruise port. There's different scenarios and a lot of different ways to go about it. The best way is renting a car. Now what's really awesome about this is there are certain ports, Port Canaveral is one of them, where they have a car rental pickup and return right at the port. Now if you're staying at a hotel overnight, you can take your car to the hotel overnight. You can go see sites in the area if you'd like to. Keep your car overnight because most rentals are for 24 hours the next day. Drive yourself to the port and drop the car off at the port rental car center and then they have a shuttle that drops us off at our cruise ship. Could not be more efficient. And the same when we get off the cruise ship, a shuttle picks us up drives us to the car rental center where we can pick up our car or we can either drive to the airport or if we have a later flight, we can do what we want and drop the car off at the airport when we arrive. Number two, this one's big. If you cruise or travel often, you know you have to go through TSA, which can be daunting. The line can be long. It can make you run late for your flight, even miss your flight, or you have to arrive hours and hours in advance. So something that we did is we got TSA pre-check. That's not the tip, because everyone knows TSA pre-check is faster than the regular TSA line. But the tip is several credit card companies offer this for free. Ours does, we have the Capital One Venture card, but I'm pretty sure Chase Sapphire does it. And I'm sure American Express, which I have not looked into, does it as well. But for our card, for Capital One, if you go through the TSA pre-check process, you pay the fee, which I think it's $150. It's hard to remember now, it's been a few years. You go to pay the fee, if you use that corresponding credit card to pay the fee, they give you an instant credit. So every time we go to the airport, we get to skip TSA, we get to leave our shoes on, leave our electronics in our carry-on. It's a game changer and to spend nothing and it lasts, I believe, five years or so, there's no reason not to do it. Okay, and sticking with the credit card tips, I have another one. This one was exciting for us too, and I didn't even know it existed until I looked into the benefits of our credit card. Maybe actually I was watching YouTube videos and somebody was sharing all the benefits of the different cards, and I found out you can get free airport lounge access. I never knew what an airport lounge was. I thought it was for elite travelers with a lot of money or if you had a million miles with a certain airline. That's not the case. There are all different types of airport lounges, all different levels. We got a free priority pass, again, through our Capital One Venture card. So you can go into the app and see what corresponding airport that you're going to be at, what lounges that they have available. 
They're so much more relaxing than being at an airport gate, number one. But number two, the food and snacks are free and so are beverages, including alcoholic beverages. Um, we all know airport food can be very expensive and underwhelming. This is awesome. Hey everyone, please pardon the very brief interruption. I'm trying to make this year, 2024, my year of growth here on YouTube and I need your help. If you could like this video and better yet, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy content intended to help you cruise better. Remember, you can always undo it and I deeply appreciate your support. Now back to the video. Okay, now let's get into packing. Packing's difficult, can be difficult, family of four, um, especially if you're traveling budget airlines and you have weight restrictions. So a lot of the smaller airlines now restrict your luggage to 40 pounds, which makes a huge difference. You wouldn't think so, but from 50 pounds to 40 pounds, it makes a huge difference. So what I have found, I've mentioned this before in other videos, but honestly, it is a tip that remains and it is used packing cubes. I have purchased a different color for everyone in the family so we can easily identify our own items. And once you get on the cruise ship and you're unpacking, you literally take the cubes and put them on the shelves and you can find your clothes so easily. I will have one cube that has my clothes that I would like hung up, like tops or dresses or whatnot, and everything else can go on the shelves in the closet. We found we didn't even need to use the drawers this time. We unpacked so quickly this last cruise that packing cubes are a must for organization and efficiency. You can get them extremely inexpensive on Amazon. I have a link below, just like I will have a link below for anything that I talk about in this video. Okay, next, this is one of my more newer obtained items that I just love, and it's my hanging toiletry bag. This is awesome, I keep it hung up at home, on my closet, with all of my smaller size travel items in it. And before I go, I'll just kinda check everything, see if anything needs to be filled up. It folds up so nicely, it holds a ton, keeps it organized, and then when I'm unpacking on the cruise ship, I simply hang it up on the hook on the bathroom door. I can find everything that I need super easily. Love this. Okay, here's another tip, cause I keep messing up my toiletry bag. Even though these zipper pockets are plastic, so nothing will leak, you still wanna put the things that might explode due to the pressure change on an airplane in Ziplocs. I keep not doing that, I keep telling myself to do that, and I keep not doing that, and when it explodes, like my toothpaste did on our last cruise, it's kind of annoying to clean up and get out of there, so even though it didn't leak and get on our clothes or the rest of the luggage, it still would've saved me from having a big mess had I just put it in Ziploc bags. This is another one. If you're ever worried about losing luggage, uh, we got air tags that connect with our iPhone so we can follow where our luggage is at all times. This is awesome, because when you get to the cruise port, you typically leave your luggage outside and the porters gather it all and bring it onto the cruise ship in carts. And I've heard of luggage being left behind before. So we feel a lot more confident when we have our air tags so that we can track exactly where our luggage is. And something else that has happened in the past is on the cruise ship, sometimes they've brought the luggage to the wrong rooms. So another way to be able to quickly identify where your luggage is if it's missing and it's just that peace of mind. Okay, this is a really good one because going back to budget airlines, now if you're paying into for individual pieces of checked luggage or even carry-on luggage, you want to make the most of your personal item. which can be an under the seat suitcase or it can be a backpack. So often we will bring a backpack, fill it with shoes or more of the heavier items that we're bringing to keep our, to make our luggage able to fit a little bit more. And then we use that backpack when we're getting off on ports or going to the beach or whatever. So it's like a multi-use, you know, part of your free carry-on or I'd say personal item and then using it to bring yourself to the pool or on port or 
for wherever. You're not actually having to pack a beach bag in your luggage, adding to more weight and bulk. So use a backpack for one of your personal items. And if you have kids traveling with you, it's really easy to put some stuff in there to have them carry on as their personal item. My next one, I already mentioned this, but pack shoes in your backpack. Find the heaviest items to allow you to have more space in your luggage by popping them in your backpack. Okay, this one's kind of weird, but choose your fabrics wisely. Okay, when you're packing, and even if you try to be very careful, like I do, rolling some of my tops and doing things to avoid wrinkles, there are certain fabrics, I wanna say rayon and linen, are probably two of the worst um, that are very difficult to keep from getting wrinkled. Now, what I found out the hard way, certain cruise lines, MSC in particular, will not bring you a iron or a steamer to your room. Now, other cruise lines, you can call your room steward and request an iron or a steamer. He will bring one for you to use temporarily. MSC stated they only have pay for services. So I could have requested certain items to have been pressed, by them and paid for that, but I really don't wanna do that. I'd rather just pack better and bring items that I know will make it through the travel process. Okay, let's talk about essentials. Now, these are tips that are kind of essential to your cruise, and number one, it's something that we didn't start doing until recently, buy cruise insurance. It's very inexpensive compared to what you pay for a cruise, and if you cruise only a few times a year, an annual plan is extremely economical. That's what we started doing. There's lots of different companies, but we've been on enough cruises to see enough emergencies. It costs so much if you have to be taken off the cruise ship on an emergency helicopter and things happen. You don't anticipate if you're younger, you know, of having any type of emergencies and there's so much unknown of not knowing what's going to happen. Just get cruise insurance. Again, it's another peace of mind that's just worth it to spend the money on when you cruise. Okay, next is prepare for seasickness. I know a lot of us don't believe that we get seasick. That's me, sort of, but I always thought that I didn't until I did. We were on our Alaskan cruise and the ship was the rockiest I have ever experienced. We, our room was on the very front of the ship and it was really like up and down. And all of a sudden I just, I wasn't feeling that great. And I was like, eh, maybe I, it was something I ate. Like I just wasn't sure about it. And then it hit me, the fact that nausea kind of just came out of nowhere. Maybe I'm getting seasick. So I put on my C-bands. I love the C-bands. And literally, less than 60 seconds later, I felt better. So you just never know. Again, it's a very inexpensive preparation to have because you don't know what you're gonna deal with. So we always bring C-bands for everybody. We bring seasick um, medication. You can bring Dramamine or Bonine, and I, I'm sure there's several others. And that has really come in handy for us at times. Okay, next, bring a small crossbody bag. The reason for this is crossbody bags are super comfortable, but also your cruise card is your lifeline on the ship. I mean, it obviously gets you in and out of your room, but it's also your source of payment throughout the cruise ship. And men don't have as difficult of a time with this, but women, we don't always have pockets on our clothes. And we don't have a place to put that. And then sometimes you wanna bring your phone or camera or whatever it is. So I have a small crossbody bag that I bring everywhere for me on the ship because often we're not anywhere near our room to go back and forth. And it's so lightweight, it holds everything I need. This one I had just purchased at TJ Maxx, I believe. Cute, simple crossbody bags are easy to find. Okay, next, magnet hooks. We love magnet hooks. I've talked about these in the past when I did Dollar Tree videos. Okay, those hooks are very different than the hooks that I'm using now. The Dollar Tree hooks, they don't hold that much. I mean, you can put up a flyer or a piece of paper and they're not that useful. But on Amazon and other places, you can get hooks that hold substantially more. Now the ones I got said that they held 150 pounds. That's not true if you put it on the wall. You only max out the weight if you put it on the ceiling, which is weird because we didn't really have anything to 
we didn't really have anything to hang from the ceiling. So it wasn't super helpful to us, but having it on the wall, being able to put a hat or a swimsuit cover up or a sweatshirt, it held those things, which alleviates clutter from your cabin. It just gets it up out of the way and utilizes the wall space that would otherwise just go wasted. Okay, this one I've talked about in prior videos. So when I put together like a little cruise gift for a first time cruiser, what I'm always sure to add is a luggage scale, a portable luggage scale. When airlines are reducing the max weights that they allow you to bring on your flight, you want to not only check the weight before you leave home, but you wanna be able to have a lightweight scale that you can bring with you that when you repack from the cruise ship, you can make sure you have the right items in the right pieces of luggage so that each of them max out your weight without going over. These luggage scales, again, are super inexpensive. They're on Amazon. I've gotten them at TJ Maxx. Check out in the description for a link. Okay, here's one I started doing not that long ago, and that is either buying a package of plastic hangers from the Dollar Tree or taking a bunch of my mismatched hangers, my least favorite hangers, right from my closet. I'll bring like eight to 10 of them. They're very lightweight to throw in your luggage. And I feel like there's never enough hangers in your cruise cabin closet, ever. Now, most of the time you can call your room steward, he will bring more hangers, but it's just another step to take. I'd rather just throw them in my luggage. They're lightweight, they're inexpensive, I'm paying a dollar, and I just leave them behind for the next guest that's in my cabin. So. And my last essentials tip is on your lock screen of your phone, have the phone number of somebody that you're with. That way, if you leave your phone behind somewhere, your phone's locked, nobody can get in to get to your contacts to contact you. If you put the phone number of whoever you're with on your lock screen, they can, and put the words, if found, call, and put that number there, you'll be much more likely to get that device back. All right, let's get into cabin tips. This one's big. I hear all over Facebook, people have different ideas on how to handle dirty laundry. So some people pack pop-up hampers, some people put it in the shower and then take it out when they shower. I, I think that's a terrible idea. Yeah, that just doesn't sound like it would work for me. Um, what we found is the best way, when we unpack, we put our luggage under the beds because there's really nowhere else to keep your luggage out of the way. And what we do is we pick one piece of luggage to be the dirty luggage, the dirty clothes luggage. Every time we have dirty clothes, we just pull it out, dunk, pop it in, push it back under the bed. It's completely out of the way, and then when it's time to pack to go home, we have all of our dirty luggage in one specific piece of luggage, so it's easy to put that one in the laundry room uh, to find the dirty clothes easier, and we're not taking up space in the cabin. If you've never cruised before, you don't know how small these rooms are. As nice as they can be, there's not any extra space. So if you're taking up room for a hamper, you're eliminating something else that could have been in that space. So. Use your luggage, you already have it there and it's already out of the way. Okay, this is big. This is something I learned very early on with cruising, but bring medication. And first aid, band-aids, ibuprofen, whatever it is that you may use. We even bring, you know, like decongestant medication, like Sudafed, because you don't know if you're gonna get a cold while you're traveling. You don't know anything about what is gonna happen and what you might need. The last thing you wanna do is have to go to the medical center and pay those rates for medication. At least I don't. I have better things to do with my money. So I would rather just come prepared. So I have a little pack where I bring all the medication that I think we might need. I bring bandages, I bring a thermometer, check if we have a fever. Again, don't need the medical center to do that when you can pick one of these up from the Dollar Tree. So just pack a comprehensive first aid kit of simple things that you may need. All right, this one I love. So. 
Coffee on cruise ships can be, the free coffee, can be not great. Now it all depends on a line, what line you're on, and there's different opinions all over the board about coffee on cruise ships. They used to have coffee pots in your room, some don't anymore, but you can request them from your room steward. So on NCL in particular, the coffee machines that they have are the filtered little puck looking things. I don't know if even that's the right word. Um, you can order a coffee machine, they'll bring it to your room. They do typically have coffee to put in them. However, knowing what kind of coffee maker that they have on your ship allows you to proactively buy flavors that you would like from Amazon or your local grocery store prior to getting on the ship. And it's a nice way to get some free coffee if that's what you choose, if you're picky about your coffee, I am, I drink black coffee. Look, you call me a coffee snob, but I drink it black, so the flavor is important. I don't cover it up with cream and sugar and other things where then I could probably just drink any type of coffee. I don't, it's black, I want it to be good, and I don't always wanna have to spend money on Starbucks. This is a way, it's up to you if you wanna bring some along, but just always remember that you can request a coffee maker from your room steward. Okay, this one is another great organizational tip, which I love. which is purchasing a over the door shoe hanger. You wanna make sure and you get one with plastic clear pouches because you wanna be able to see what's in there. But when we used to share a room with our kids and we had so many different sunblocks and aloe and all kinds of different stuff um, that doesn't really fit in a bathroom when you're sharing it with four people so you have four toothbrushes lined up and whatever. This was nice to keep everything out of the way, but organized to where you could find it so easily. Again, these are lightweight. You can fit a bunch in there and you're using door space that you don't really need for anything else. I mean, yeah, you'll have the toiletry bag that I love, but you can absolutely use both and just be a lot more organized. I love having more space and things up and out of the way and a neat orderly environment. We're gonna take a break. And I feel like we should go for a walk. Okay, he wants to say hi before he goes on a walk. Say hi to everybody. You saying hi? No, say hi right here. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, you saying hi? Oh, you just want to get down and go for a walk. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. We'll continue this when we get back. <laughs> 